What you just saw are some great examples of combining the power of ChatGPT with that of MidJourney to create magic. So we're creating mind-blowing art here. Now, as you already know, MidJourney in and of itself can create magical arts and images, mind-blowing arts and images. But just imagine if you were to combine, harness the power of the two, what we can create. That's exactly what we're going to look at right now. I mean, ChatGPT. And it's quite straightforward what we do. We just ask ChatGPT, get me 10 ideas or images of people in their national costumes. So hopefully ChatGPT comes back with 10 ideas here. All right, so the first one is Native American, Maori, Japan, India, Scotland, Germany, etc. So I'm going to show you randomly a couple. Okay, so the first one we are going to take, and there's only one more step remaining here. We can say, write me a prompt to generate AI art for, and simply take one of those ideas here. I'm going to take the one from Japan copy that paste and end quote see what we get as a prompt so I've noticed sometimes when a prompt is given by chat GPT there is a section right at the beginning create an AI generated digital illustration we can always remove that to expand our ideas in mid journey so I'll show you exactly what I mean so at that point what I'm going to do simply copy the entire prompt rather detailed so come back into mid journey and paste that prompt now here I'm going to tweak it a, just a little bit I'm going to remove that digital illustration just to expand on the idea and not limit itself to something like a digital art so after doing that, I'm, I can add my own parameters here. I like plane render. Bright colors. Vibrant colors. Photorealistic. I want it to be a high resolution, so let's go 8K, 4K. And add an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. And see what we get. As Midjourney is working through our request, what we can always do, we can always go back into ChatGPT and work through our second one. And to do that quickly, all I'm going to do, copy that first part, paste that. And by the way, you do have an option to regenerate any of those responses if you didn't like the ones that you saw. And it will come back with new prompt or new ideas. It's essentially, it's entirely up to you how you want it. So I'm okay with the ones that I've seen. I'm going to say paste that. I'm going to paste that. And then bring another one back. I'm going to take this one here. From India. Let's just see what we get. And we're going to let ChatGPT give us the second prompt. And as it's generating the second prompt, let's see what it came back with. Hopefully some beautiful images and exactly the case so if I expand that you can see all of the nice images here and at that point you can upscale you can you can create variations of that so let's just take the third one I want to create or I can upscale that one so let's just go upscale 3 and as it's upscaling it let's go back head back into chat GPT and copy the second one come back into journey and spaced and at that point if you want you want it to be consistent or if you want it to be similar to the one that you have seen before you can always copy those parameters here I'm going to copy all of those parameters from here and add them into my new prompt and the only other thing I'll do I'll just get rid of that first part AI digital illustration of a man and I want it to be not too specific to digital art 
So I just have to remove that part and let's see what we get. All right, look at that. We are still waiting for that upscale version of that Japanese lady and it just came back. It's amazing. It's mind blowing. I'll take that any day. And then we look at the one, the man in traditional Indian costume. If you were to expand that, you can see there are so many nice images here. We can take any one of them. We can create variations. We can create, we can upscale any one of them. We can do all sorts of stuff. So I hope you learned a thing or two as to how you can combine the power of the two, ChatGPT as well as Mid Journey to create magic.